Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class for another episode of Dead in Vinland. And as we can see here, everything is how it should be. I'm going to add some more fire. More fire, more fire. Um, we'll get a bit of water. A bit of water! And hope that it rains at one point. It would be nice. I have to admit. So, 15 rope. Only took us a day and a half. Which is not good. Admittedly, yes, Eric can do it a lot quicker. And we could upgrade. Ah, oh, so close. So close. She is just... For a peasant, she's not very good at manual labour. I mean, we can forgive Granny. She's old. Eight meat. Good stuff. Oh, I need all that rope. And I don't want to give them 40 rope. That just depresses me. Go and explore. Um, oh, it's because, mate, he's sat there and not crafting anything. You go and sit and rest again. Go and rest again. You never do anything but rest these days. <sighs> okay, so we're not going to dwell on it too much. Blood wheel duck, come over here. Oh, don't do that. Do this. So, we want to try and get to 8 litres. Uh, actually, we need to get to 8.5. And, and then if I take us up to there, that should be enough for the night as well. Okay, so... should work. Now, Eric, what can you do for us, my friend? I mean, you can do many things. I'm going to actually have you... Sure. Make us some rope, please. Although that's probably a bit of a waste of your time. Could you? Because you are a crafter. Which one of these gets rid of fatigue? That one? do it. So that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. Cool. Hopefully it only takes him half a day. He's so good at crafting, I really hope it does. Otherwise I'm going to have to upgrade the crafting bench. Please! Yes! Good. Good, good, good. I might even have Eric focus on making drafts of recovery. Uh, two crappy meals, never mind. Ooh, another level. Good stuff. Okay, nine hemp. It's not... It'll do. Actually, I'll get Eric to do ten rope. Good work. Getting that wood. Yeah. And go and explore some stuff for us just in case we need it. Encounter? No encounter. Okay. So you go back there. You go back there. You're going to. Stay on there, but you're going to focus on healing. Although one to four is pretty buku. <laughs> Not that good. Uh, Eric, make me ten rope, please. You are finally. We can heal four people. Just focus on hemp. focus on hemp. 
We need so much hemp, it's not even funny. And until we get more water, unfortunately, Bloodwilder, this is your job now. Which I am kind of sad about. I am. Truly, truly sad. Call, no, don't go for that. Call of the healer. No. Um, no. Eh, no. Forestry wouldn't be too bad, because we're about to actually get your ex... Uh, about to get your... Yeah, cool. Go for forestry. Because she will be chopping trees soon. As soon as we can get her away. If it's raining tomorrow, for example. What else is broken? God. Why, Odin? Why? We'll go to the beach tomorrow. What do I really think about my husband? I, how much of a dick do you want to be? I mean, let's let's think about this. Do you, this actually this is it. This is hard mode. This is easy mode. Surely, if you do that, you're just asking to make life more difficult. I love him, no doubts. He's not quite himself lately, but I love him forever, but I'll love him forever. We must find a way to make this work. I want to. And again, I'm very glad that I put in the effort to make sure that we had enough water for everyone. Admittedly, one person doesn't need water, that's good, but still. Although I am getting too much making too much water, but still. Just in case. Right, we keep going round the other way, so let's go round the horn this way this time. Everyone gets a meal because I am generous. Um, yep, that'll do. Look, ten fruit and six meat. This is excellent. Now I don't know if there's going to be an event that makes it harder for you to get food, but if our stockpiles keep growing, this can only be good. And we're at the point where it's most difficult to get supplies of food. I wish he had rolled high. Because he could have gone back down to green. Oh well. Please let it rain. No, no, no. Although that's bad for our, for our food. I don't care so much. I just want to make, be able to do more, do more with my time. So, am I happy with where I left everyone last time? You two are doing that, very well. You're doing that, you're doing that, and you're doing that. I like this. So, another ten rope. Oh, you son of a bitch. 6% away? Fuck. That's annoying. <sighs> That's really annoying. Yeah. Decent amount of hemp. We should be able to make another 10 tomorrow. 20 fatigue though. That's pretty shitty. Eight fishes. Not bloody bad, thank you very much. Although we are also running out of arrows, so that's not too good. Seven meat, beautiful. I am going to need to do something about this. This is clearly not... I'm investing too much time into making rope. I don't even think we're going to be able to make it in time. That's the other thing. 
even with everyone working their asses off. Do I put you on there? No. Yes, I'm going to have to. Just stay there. I have got an emergency way to bring your fatigue down if I think I've killed you, so it should be fine. Excellent, we've got just enough. Oh, days. And something else is broke. What's broke now? Oh, great. Marvellous. Excellent. Oh, dear. Well, we can always hope that the beach has got goodies for us. You're doing that. No one's resting. You've got a chance of finding another place for us, so... Fingers crossed she does. Excellent. Good, good, good. Okay, no crappy meals. I mean, that's the only reason I'm making so many extra meals, is in case we get crappy ones, but... Hmm. Finally, Granny's got another level. Six fruit, that will go into the onto the drying rack. I need to remember to fire. Another harvesting, this is very nice. Ooh, good... Jesus. Okay. And some depression. We may need to send him... Did you find it? No! Ah. Bugger. We might need to send you to go and chill out. Ah, we'll wait. You definitely need to go and just sit there and relax. You. Now, I'm, I am tempted. See, this is the issue. You get four, and then you turn four into... Why can't he do it? Oh, we haven't got enough. Oh, but we can do this one. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, never mind then. So we can make... In fact, it seems like we can actually make some of all of these. But we don't have enough water, so that will have to wait. I could do with making a load of arrows. But we've already learnt that it takes him a day and a half to do that, so we'll make more rope. Sadly, we're just making boring rope. So you're making rope. You are getting us water. Granny has a level up, level up Granny. So, 50% XP for fishing. She's actually going to take that. Uh, that's good, because that would include fishing. But I'm just going to take 50% for fishing, because she'll level up quicker that way. She does an awful lot of fishing. In fact, speaking of that, go back and fish. Uh, let's make some fish bait, even though it damages the... It damages the fishing spot. You only have three arrows left. But we're not... We might have enough. If we have enough, you can go and do that. Uh, I'll do the camp ne uh, in the next day, because I want to do both of them at once. Glad to have you on board. People should start calling should stop calling me a witch. You don't hear the voices? Voices? Apart from the voice of an old lady, no. Puh. You hear them. They told me. 
You just don't know yet. I feel things sometimes, like a chill or a headache. No, 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 dumb girl. It's just cold. Sigh. You have much to learn. Teach me, master. Master! Master, teach me! Uh, go for it. And I assume that you could teach me all these secrets? Ha! Huh? I could indeed, yes. But are you ready to go all the way through? I may not seem like it, but I'm old. My time... My time on Midgar is almost finished. Oh? If it can put your mind at ease, you look and act old. And I won't talk about the smell. Ha! <laughs> oh, cool, she likes that. Finally, Granny has found someone that she likes. Good. It's about time. Oh, dear. Well, you're not going exploring tomorrow. Water for everyone, everyone, and your friend. There you go. Hmm. Well, at least everyone gets food. So let's go round this way. Even though they do swap positions, so doesn't really matter if you keep going around the same way or a different way each time. Blood wilder, feeling greedy, are we? That's right. I forgot to put the fruit on the on the drying rack. Oh. oh well. It's not going to be the end of the world. Ragnarok has not come. I mean, admit it, I don't know how you do it on difficult. I really don't. Like, you know, this is normal, and the start is actually really difficult. You can lose people if you're not paying attention. But, yeah, I just don't know how you... Yes! Ah, oh, it is raining. Thank Odin. Blood Wilder. Go and chop us some 10, 10 to 18, beautiful. Now unfortunately, my dear, you can't explore. You have to do that. Oh, I took you. Can you focus on healing plants? It... Fuck it, sure, just go no focus. Um. He's making us more rope, which is good. Oh, that's all of our that's all of our fabric gone. Oh, that's so depressing. So we have to have to have to get to work on on the on the pasture on the pasture. So we need 30 wood and 20 rope. You bastard. Okay. The reason that's annoying is because they're going to take all our bloody rope. But at the same time it hasn't taken us that long to get this much rope. Come on. Yes good work. So you can focus on making a po uh, potion. Lovely. It probably wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. It really wasn't worth it. I should have just had her do something else. Uh. Eight fish. Nice. Well done, Granny. And that's all our arrows gone for now. 
Oh, actually, no, I'll get him to work. I'll get him to make arrows. You've got a rash? Uh, oh, well. Fifteen wood. Glorious. Okay, yeah, the fatigue is bad. But fifteen wood. Glorious. Kira, you go and do that. You come over here and sure. I also want to make some salt. Oh no, something else broke. What broke? Um, Eric, make us some arrows, please. I want you to make ten. You are done there, however. And I'm going to risk her getting loads of fatigue. Because I'm an asshole like that. In fact, no I'm not. No I'm not. You... Go and rest. Granny you come over here because the issue is we've got too much food we, we've genuinely got too much food I'm gonna have to well hopefully we'll see we'll see we will see Very, very nice, Eric. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, if it only rains for one day, we don't actually get that much water. I know I made some salt, but... You really don't get that much. Unless it rains, you know, for a week. Mm. Oh yeah, that wasn't worth it. I don't think that was worth it, but we'll have to see. So plus one to forestry. I'll take that. Because what will be nice is if we have enough wood to where we can build stuff and go, well we don't need to do anything else now. We can step away. So, let's set everyone up for tomorrow. I might just have you explore for a little while. You've got to be back yet. Good. At the moment, Eric's the only one that I'm going to leave off. Because I don't know what I want to do with Eric at the moment. But we have two places to explore. So let's go to the beach first. Ooh, cloves. I need cloves. Um, inspect. You see a bunch of dirty, cl dirty cloves on a makeshift drying pole. Judging from the from the very, very bad scent coming from them, you don't expect to see any naked men reclaiming them anytime soon. Uh, we are going to search for the owner first. So. Kira, with your 85 stealth, you're up. These clothes may have been put to dry ages ago, but they were not put there by themselves. You decide to investigate what happened to the owner. You follow the sound of water uh, to a small river. The owner lies crushed under a fallen tree. Soon you find the cause of the predicament. A beaver dam stands across the river. Death by beavers. What an unlucky bloke. Uh, search the dam. Well, at least you found an easy wood stockpile. You get as much wood as you can carry 
wary of the fury furious fury resist res residence the furious residence night please tell me you've got more than that nine wood well early doors that would have been really good so let blood hang on a minute do I have something that increases nope never mind this I had a feeling I had an item that would help but never mind blood wielder go forth it's not it's not a theft when you're taking someone else's garbage is it uh, we're going to take everything you quickly take everything you can yeah. Fair nine fabric brilliant we really really needed fabric whilst carrying the loot back to camp you feel the back of your neck itching Ugh. some of the clothes were covered in mold and worms and what not you throw up clean your mouth with a dirt covered sleeve and resume walking s walking sick of this life uh, okay plus three sickness and depression uh, oh okay okay not uh. hmm. okay inspect you stumble upon two shaped shapes covered with spider's web hanging from the trees. You suspect the large one is a human. There's a small one next to it. You can't guess what could be inside a child. That's probably the bag or an animal. Uh, check the big one. Um, hmm. Kira, you're up. I think this would be an agility thing. You touch the web cocoon. It's still firm. Whatever's inside is not fully digested or grown up yet. You pray for the former. Open it. Agility. Agility! You carefully slice the pouch open and the silk cocoon and the silk comes off easily offering you a peek inside. With a gasp of horror, you discover the remains of a human child wrapped in, wolf, in wolf's pelts. You... You reluctantly take the bones and the pelts, knowing that it would be useful, but it's depressing. Oh Christ, oh well. Bones of a child and pelts of a wolf. Well, I was right. <laughs> so, courage and crafting. Well, it. It looks like you're up. Hmm. It. No, we will have faith. You have failed us before, but you will not fail us this time. You touch the web cocoon, it's soft. If it was a human being inside, it must already be reduced to mush. Digestive fluids, mushy digestive fluids. Um, crafting, retrieve the silk. If what's inside is rotten, what's outside might be useful. You carefully cut the silk from the tree and slice it in half to recover its con contents. There's so much silk to transform into fabric that you won't have time to get bored for a while. Oh, we won't have a chance to get bored for a while. Six fabric. Okay. Four rope. Good. Nice. Not bad. I kind of wanted to know what was inside. But at the same time, we got some good stuff there. I am most pleased at this. I think people can go hungry, to be honest with you. Uh, so... How much hemp do we have? 13. I am going to have you make for me... A 
thing is, it's just one potion. But it does reduce 20 fatigue. I know I'm going to need them at one point. And let's end the day off. What do we do about the old hag? Grid, uh, Goodrin? She's right here. She's sleeping. No? Yes, she's... I must admit that she's getting on my nerves. I like her. Pfft. That... That's old, useless, mean troll face. Seriously? <coughs> huh? Ah! By the gods, you scared me. If You scared me every damn time. When the moon is high. Your end is high, is nigh. The betrayer's blade. Blood and tears are shed. What did she just say? Betrayer? Blood? Murder. A traitor? Hey, Granny. Say that again. God... Hmm, if Angelos was here, that would make sense. Old fart. <coughs> uh. There she is again. A vision. A vision from the gods. May Freya help us. Oh god damn it. A traitor here? Hmm. I wonder From now on, let's keep an eye on our allies. We don't know them after all. Oh Christ. What have I done? <laughs> My sister told me that you may come from our hometown. Hometown. You knew the Jarl? The dead one? Yeah. Mag, uh, Mag, Magnus. Mag, no, yeah, Magnus. Father. That old one. No, and no. You're talking about Magnus. Hedrison, tall, long beard, curly hair, long axe. Little Magnus, yes. You're quite slow for a smart, for the smart one of the group, you know. But he's not dead, huh? Dead as my hopes to make this looking brawn, my husband. De dead, he died whilst we were at sea then. No, no, no. Dumb girl. He died the day I, the day you left. What? How would you know? I know when he died. I know when you left. Same day. Very suspicious. Huh. And who is the Jarl now? He didn't have any sons. His dumb brother, Thorhammer, they call him Pfft. Hagbard. Hagbard. Yeah, him, Spit. Maybe she was just saying names randomly to see if she would agree. I don't know. Speculation. Probably, probably not right, but anyway. Never mind. Hey! Letting our water supplies get back, I'd like to see it. I wouldn't mind a bit of rain for a few days. It would be quite nice. It'd be quite helpful. Ooh. 
food time. Let's go this way round, because I haven't done this. Then let's just be daring and just throw all caution to the wind and <laughs> I am only messing, it's it's just uh these bits do get a little bit. When you've got the food, you don't actually need to worry. It's like, yeah. Although I probably should be trying to get the tasty meal buffs on certain people. I don't care. It's... At the moment, the tributes are probably the most annoying thing. And that I'm not sure if we can handle fighting. I know the battle with Braun was a long time ago, but he was fucking scary. I mean, I reckon Kira could kill him if she got a crit. But still, that's asking... You know, that's asking a lot. All right, I shall end the episode off there. So, thank you very much for coming to the Dumbass class and listen to my ramblings. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. So, take care everyone, and as always, bye bye for now.